Okay, welcome to another vlog. We just started the video and on the balcony there's a window cleaner. There's a wild shoe. <laughs> Hi! Hi mate, how's it going? Do you want a tin towel? Hello. Hey? Do you want a tin towel? I want a glass of water actually. Yeah. I was staring at your water glass. Yeah, oh my god, of course. He's gone. Do you want a glass of water? It's, got, it's lemon water, is it? Oh, sick, yeah. It's a bit fancy. Right, this is lemon water. It's a game changer. If you get up every day and drink a glass of lemon water, you'll be a whole different person. So I'm going to give it a go. And you can fly like this guy. Follow Matt and Summer on YouTube. They've got the cleanest windows in the Gold Coast. So that was nice meeting that um, guy cleaning the windows of the building. Um, and he was from the UK, so small world. Um, shall we do yoga now, babe? Yes, let's do yoga. We're going to get a yoga routine on the TV and keep the remote. So most mornings we try and do a stretch routine. Not going to say every morning because sometimes we do forget or don't have time. But then we're going to head to the gym and bring you guys along for our workouts and explain what we do. But let's get into the yoga first. Okay guys, yoga is done and we're gonna make some breakfast now. So this morning we are gonna make our shake, which consists of protein powder, oats, peanut butter, and we put some prebiotic powder in and some frozen blueberries or mixed berries. So let's make that now. So I start with the oats and a trick that I learned from watching Chris Bumstead's videos is to always mix the oats first because if you have a lot of oats within your shake, and you don't blend them on their own, it can get very clumpy. So <laughs> clumpy lumpy. Yes, we don't want that. So we're gonna make these first. So I'm going to be having 100 grams of oats. We're using the My Protein protein powder, the uh, Impact Way Isolate. So I have a scoop of the chocolate and a scoop of the strawberry. Now we have a scoop of the prebiotic. This is from iHerb. We've got the mixed berries. We don't actually have that much of these left, to be honest, so we do need to go to the store after the gym today and get some more. So I'm not gonna have what I usually have, which is like 80 grams. So I'll just have a couple and I'll leave some summer. Finally, we're finishing up with 25 grams of peanut butter. Now that is the finished shake. I'm gonna blend that up now. So this is the only shake that we have in the day. All of our other meals are whole foods, but we have this because it's very easy to make and quick before our workouts. We've tried fasted workouts before, but personally, although I really like fasting and do do it, I prefer to eat before I work out, especially to maintain muscle mass. So that's the reason for that. Let's blend this up. I'll put on the side of the screen what ingredients and how many grams of everything I had in my shake but it definitely makes me feel really strong when I eat before the gym unless I'm doing a workout at like six in the morning I will fast for those workouts but this is more at like eight nine o'clock so cheers just a tip as well to make your protein shake a lot nicer you can either add ice or frozen fruit because when it's cold it tastes so much better so if you have an ice machine mix um, in the blender with ice or just put ice in at the end, but it's so much nicer when it's cold, because when it's warm. Mm -mm. Okay, we're heading to the gym now. Quick outfit check. So we've got the black Converse. These are from Bow and T, these shorts. And this pink top is from Lazuli label. I think I'm in, I'm wearing an extra small in both, but I think small fits as well. So outfit check. Matt, do you want to tell everyone what your outfit's from? Uh, okay. <laughs> My outfit's really simple. I pretty much just wear all black and the occasional white t-shirt. So we've got fans, Lululemon shorts. They're your favourite, aren't they? My favourite. I'm a big believer in... Camo. Buy minimal things, but when you choose something like, I wear these all the time and they last a long time. So they're a bit more expensive, obviously Lululemon, but so worth it. And then this tank top is from Atelier Co, which is a brand that I've uh, in Bali. 
So like a little boutique brand, and I've had this for like a few years now. Got the douche bag here as well. This is another bag that I've had for years. This is John Olsen and Janine's bag. Yeah, we've had that yeah. literally like it's four like years. Their brand, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Okay, let's go. What a beautiful day. 26 degrees right now, stunning. Beautiful. So we're walking to the gym actually. So we thought we'd let you know that's what we do at the moment. Um, get some steps in for one. Also, it's just, well, why would you not? Ever. It's absolutely incredible. We've got the beach just there in the ocean. It is only a five minute walk as well. So yeah, it's not far. It is close. It's a nice warm up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is So actually. at the gym today, Summer, what are you going to be training? I'm going to be training legs. Okay. And you're Focus on glutes. Focus on glutes. Oh, and then I've got back day, back, and then a little bit of biceps towards the end. It's going to be a good workout. Let's go. Feeling strong. So I started my workout with paused cable glute kickbacks. I did two warm up sets and then I went into four working sets. Next up, I did paused single leg bridges. So you want to pause at the very top of the movement, and I did four sets in total. Then I did barbell hip thrust, so I did four sets and I'm doing high volume training at the moment, so high reps. So I did 15 reps for three sets and then the last set was 19 reps, um, which is pretty hard. <laughs> then I did Nordic curls. I had to ask Chris, the personal trainer, who's in this video behind me to help me with the form, but you definitely feel a good squeeze in this exercise. Then onto paused lying machine leg curl. Again, four sets in total, three sets of 15 reps and then one set of 19 reps. Then I went on to paused machine single leg curl, four working sets in total, and then 13 reps on each leg. Then I did single leg press. This one is really tough. I can't even put any weight on this because the machine is heavy enough, but it feels really good. And I did four working sets on this exercise. Lastly, I always end on calves or abs. So today I did seated calf raise. I did four sets in total, 15 reps, and then my last set was 19 reps. So moving into my workout, I had 10 exercises in total today. Starting off with bent over dumbbell row, going for a lot of volume in this workout. So I've got three sets of 10, and then one set of 14 to finish. Next up we have wide overhand grip, bent over barbell row. Now I am noticing watching this back that I do need to have my neck and head slightly higher. So it's always good to film yourself actually, just to check your form. So that's what I would say about that. So seated machine low row, get a nice squeeze off this. As you'll notice, everything I do is very slow, controlled, methodical, not rushing the movements, really focusing on that mind-muscle connection. I love paused exercises as well, so just where you're gonna squeeze it for a bit longer at the range of motion. As you can see here, just holding it for a bit longer than you normally would allows the muscle to really contract and get the most um, you know, beneficial movement. This is a similar movement to the one that I did last. So if your gym only has one of those, you can just do one. Um, I like to do Smith machine, sh Smith machine shrug, sorry. It's really easy to put loads and loads of weight when you do shrugs, but I prefer to go a little bit lighter and feel the burn. Finishing off with biceps. So I do two bicep exercises to finish. I'm doing a like a push pull legs style split at the moment. Then finally, always finish like someone mentioned with either calves or abs. So today was calves, so I'll just do four sets of 20 reps. We've just got back. Hope you enjoyed coming along to that workout with us. We're now gonna make some foods. So we're gonna make some turkey wraps with fried eggs and avocado. We'll show you the finished product now. Here it is. So 250 grams of turkey mince each. This is Summers over here, the slightly smaller one. You've got half an avocado. I've got one and a half avocado. I've got four eggs. Got two eggs, I mean. Yeah. Really good sourdough. Oh, yeah, some. there's no wraps. Let's go outside. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in. Got some nice waves today. Alright, in the cold water. Ah, oh, so refreshing.
We are back in the apartment. It's been a few hours actually since we were in the ocean. We've been just solid uh, working. It's now 8 p.m. so we're gonna have dinner. I have made a pasta. It's a chickpea pasta with turkey mince and with pesto. And it's like a fibrous pasta. So it's a pretty simple meal to be honest, but I love pasta. So. Shall we tell everyone that we actually do most of our work in the evenings? Yes, that's a really good point actually, because you might be wondering today, because we've always wondered this before when we've seen people making videos, it seems like it took all day. So because our businesses are in the UK, if you don't know, we have the Luxury Home Show YouTube channel, which is the channel that Summer and I started in the UK, where we toured luxury properties. We now have a team of awesome presenters on the channel. So that takes a huge amount of effort to run that business with all the access arrangements for getting into the luxury homes. Yeah, just a huge amount behind the scenes. And then we also have Luxury Property Partners, which is uh, an estate agency business that takes a huge amount of effort. Um, and so because they're obviously in the UK time zone, most of our work is actually done from like 5 p.m. Australia time to midnight. So we work till midnight each night. So that means that- What's the latest we've ever stayed what's at? What's the latest? 4am 4am, yeah Here we are, we are at Pacific Fair shopping mall We just drove here with a friend but we're going to walk back and that's what we were talking yeah. about earlier so one of the key things we do to keep in shape, keep our fitness is a lot of steps mm -hmm. so it's like an hour walk back and it's a really nice day today Yeah, we're going to just shop in Zara because yeah. you still have a bit of a voucher I do spend, actually, yeah um, from your birthday, so should we have a look? Yeah, if you haven't yeah. been to this shopping mall it's so nice, look, you've got palm trees and everything lovely area so we'll Beautiful. hang out here for a bit first before we uh, go on the walk back and I think we should get some food as well maybe like a protein shake and boost did you find anything in Zara no not today not today I'm enjoying the view though we love this mall spend some time here let's head back let's do a walk but we should get that protein first so what's our ideal step count it's like 10,000 steps 10,000 is a minimum, maybe 15 to 20,000, that's a good day. But most, but some days we definitely don't get 10,000 in if we're Very busy. true, that's why we have to do 20,000 the others to make it up for. Just having a quick look in Flattens. I get asked all the time where my light cargo trousers are from. I'll put a picture on the screen, they're from here. What are we doing? Let's go get a protein shake. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head into Supra. Someone keeps finding new stores that she wants to go in. I don't think they sell Toyota Supras in here, so it probably won't be that interesting for me. But... Yeah, that's cool. So, hold that one up to you. Lie the Miami Dolphin. Yeah, nice. How do you even say what Okay, I don't even know oh, what that's what it looks like. Oh. Factory. Okay. We're now in a surf shop. There's a lot of cool bits in here. Yeah, it's a nice colour, isn't it? I'm not exactly sure what they sell, kind of a bit of everything. A stress like poo. you can buy a stress poo. Crocs. Crocs back in. Are these real crocs? Are they Shout out dad if you're watching, you love a pair of crocs. <laughs> well I'm glad you said you said the sloth because when it looked like you were going over here towards them, and no. I'm not wearing them. Are they slippers? They look like slippers, sloth yeah. Slippers. Would you like to try them on? And then I could wear this. Because well. you've got a tall boyfriend, so I can reach them if you want. Look, a sloth wants it. <laughs> Should I just go all out sloth? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> There's a little kitty one. Oh, we should actually get a bodyboard for the waves. Yeah, a lot of different ones. Oh, you can like choose your deck too. Got wetsuits here as well. Look, you can do, look, you can get different designs on your deck. Yeah. It was so funny, I just nearly made a woman so jump. Someone's left me to it, basically. I always like to ask people for direction. <laughs> and we're looking for boost juice and this woman had a boost, so I went to ask her, someone got embarrassed, so she ran away. <laughs> you did. His kiss flat started to run towards this woman. She was terrified. Did you make yeah. I knew it. I tried to say it really quietly. I was like, excuse me, excuse me, but she wasn't turning around. I looked at you and her, she was looking at you like, <laughs> like you just made a jump. Like this big guy with his, with his rucksack chasing you down the mall. 
We're just heading back to Surfers Paradise. We love walking and getting our steps in, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> what an amazing place to walk. So, yeah, we'll probably get at least 10,000 steps in today. Yeah, at least 10,000, that's good. Yeah. This is our view. There is the ocean. Because we used to do a lot of running, and I've done running in the past, like I did like a 30k event and stuff, and whilst I enjoy running, if you're trying to put on a lot of muscle, it can, it can be counterproductive in some ways. Yeah. If you're like a hard gainer, like if you've got a lot of excess body weight, then it's okay. But if you're struggling to put on muscle, it can be worth changing your cardio up to do like Doing running or the stepper or yeah, do sprints, do some hip training. Wow. Have you ever tried that windsurfing before? I haven't, no. It's done kite surfing, sailing, wakeboarding. And so surfing. It's almost like the three of them blended, yes, surfing, but not kite surfing. Here we are on 12,000 steps. Do you want to share everyone on my watch? Oh. So we reached our goal of 10,000 steps today, which is good. And we'll try to do that every day, but it doesn't always happen. Who watched our Sydney vlog? So next to the building, there is a, if you can see in the background, pancakes on the rocks, which do the most incredible we pancakes. We walked past pancakes on the rocks the whole time we lived here, on the way to the gym, which is ironic, because it's pancakes. But <laughs> then when we saw pancakes on the rocks in Sydney, and we went and loved it. The next time we walked past it, we looked, we're like, that's the same restaurant. So it's like obviously a chain, rather than like a one-off restaurant. And then we haven't been to that one yet, but they were such good pancakes. So Definitely good. Definitely gonna go back. Shall we do like a cheat meal um, video soon? Yes. Where we go all out, or we're thinking like a calorie challenge. I know that there's loads on YouTube, but I've always wanted to do one. 10,000 so calorie challenge. Yeah, between yeah, us. I'm down for Shall that. Shall we do that? Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. See you later.